morning everyone today is going to be a great day we're exploring the town of Miyoshiya and uh, we're going to go to the uh, onsen street to take a look at the hot spring where you can soak your feet and then also um, probably explore a cafe and just basically walking around the town a small town uh, it's a great day to begin our walk because uh, the temperatures today is not so bad it's not too hot too cold and uh yeah the sun is already out uh, as you can see and the sun was only 6 30 a.m so uh, we shall head for breakfast in the hotel and then let's see what today brings us all right um let's carry on let's go this will be our first full day in yumura before we start our day let's check out the breakfast spread at this resort There's a variety of traditional Japanese and Western spreads available. The Japanese spread features a very countryside touch to it. Now check out what I got. The interesting thing about this breakfast today is that we noticed other locals grilling the already cooked fish. So we had to try it ourselves. Oh my, and it tasted really delicious. Overall, breakfast was hearty. After breakfast, we head outside to explore the quaint little town of Yumura. The walk here reminds me of travelling into a Japanese cartoon scene. This hot spring town was discovered in 848 AD and a famous Japanese warlord, Takega Shingen, is said to visit Yumura very often just to enjoy its hot springs here. Let's now find our way to the hot spring site.
This hot spring, Arayu, pumps 2,300 liters of hot water every minute into the river in this town. So this is where people can wash their feet. This is the area of the onsen. It's called Arayu Onsen. One of the onsens that is a natural spring water, natural uh, sulfur water. As you can see. So you can soak your feet around here. So I'm going to try it and let's see how warm the water is. Okay, let's go and give it a try. After the hot spring, we headed to explore a lesser known temple by the hillside called Shofujuki Temple. This temple is a Tendai style temple which takes its roots from the Tendai Lotus School. It's just so peaceful here as there was really no one except us roaming around the temple grounds. We ended our day by visiting this quaint little cafe called Cafe Bloom. Check out the peaceful vibes in this cafe. We ordered a soft serve ice cream and a cheesecake to try.
Oh my goodness, this was the best cheesecake I have ever tasted. It does not make you feel the gelatinous and it's also rich and flavorful. Alright everyone, today is our last day in Miyoshia and uh, tomorrow we'll be taking quite a complex route to uh, Misasa. Uh, I haven't done this before, so wish us luck and uh, we'll be turning in soon. And uh, good night and see you in my next video. Bye bye.